We're going to work on warm up 8B. Here is warm up 8B. I want you to take a minute and try and do these two problems and then come back and see how you did. Okay, so the first one says we need to find the area of a triangle with a height of 8A, B to 6C squared and a base of 4A to the 4th, C, B to the 6th. They gave us the formula for the area. So the area is going to be 1 half times, now the base, 4A to the 4th, B to the 6th, times the height. The height is 8A, B to the 6th, C squared. Okay, so now... To be able to solve this, we need to go through and multiply our coefficients. One four or one half times four, what's half of four, which is two, two times eight gives you 16. Now for your exponents, I've got, you've got to add your exponents up. So I have a to the fourth, and then this just has an a, so there's a one here. So I'm gonna have a to the fifth power. Then if you look at your b's, I have b to the sixth, b to the 6. 6 plus 6 is 12, so it's b to the 12th. Now your c's. All I have is this c squared, and that's what goes here. This is your area. Multiply the coefficients, and then on your um, variables, add the exponents. Okay, let's look at the next one down here. This says, what is the area and the perimeter of an equilateral triangle with a base of 4x squared, y squared, and a height of 3x to the fifth, y to the fourth? Remember, equilateral triangle means all the sides are equal. It means all sides are equal. So let's draw a picture of what we have. Here's my triangle. It says my base is going to be 4 x squared, y squared. That means all of these are the same. Now, it says it has a height, and that means here in the middle here, the height is going to be 3, x to the fifth, y to the fourth. Now, let's find the perimeter first. Remember, perimeter means to add up all the sides. These are the only things you should have added up for your sides. And they want, so when I do that though, when you're adding, all you're doing is telling me, you're adding up these coefficients, telling me how many x squareds, y squareds do I have? 4, 8, 12. You should have gotten 12 x squared, y squared. Now this is different than your area because remember like the one we did before, area is one half times your base, which is this right here, four X squared Y times your height. That's, what, that's why that's important, three X to the fifth, Y to the fourth. Okay, so now can we do this? Take one half times four times three. Well, one half times four is two, two times three is six. Now for your variables, add the exponents. I've got two X's and five X's. That is X to the seventh. Your Y's, if there's no number up here, there's a one. So I have one plus four, which is Y to the fifth. This is what you should have gotten for the area.